Hello world, my name is Ihor and this is a techno break. Today I'd like to jam a little bit and experiment with modulation. And here is Lapsus Os, and it helps me quite a lot with experimentation. Yeah, I know this is just an attenuverter or attenuator, but for me, not just this really. I really love this module and I'd like to show you guys why. And for today's compact setup, I have the Octa track with drum samples, track six set up in a way that it can record whatever comes from track seven and track seven itself plays back the modular. Uh, track eight is a master track. Yeah, and pretty much it. Also, I have the high pass scene uh, for performance uh, situation and the modular itself with Lapsus OS, Oct, which I'm gonna utilize a couple of LFOs today, filter, Basimilus as the main voice, envelope, clap DS, Mimetic. Also, I'm gonna use Mimetic Digitalis today to offset the modulation and yeah, and reverb. So yeah. Uh, and today I'd like to start with uh, with the groove, basically kick, clap, and all this stuff. Then record a bass line into track six, and then play a little bit with track seven, basically with the modular. Yeah, let's do it. So for the kick, I have track one, and kick sounds like this. It has this noisy tail, and yeah, let's do it. Four on the floor, maybe a little faster, yeah. I'd like to remove a little bit of the tail. Yeah, and on the first one I'm going to introduce a bit more. And then I'm going to introduce this one. And for this one, it's not going to be on every bar, but once per two bars. And also I'm going to uh, use amp envelope as well. And reduce the volume a little bit. Yeah, something like this. Next, gonna go hat. Yeah, definitely too loud for a hat. Also, I'm gonna use amp envelope. As usually, I'm gonna do the last longer. Yeah. Next uh, will be clap. I, I love this clap actually. It has also this tail, which I'm also gonna utilize with trig locks. Um, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it differently today. Yeah. Something like that. Again, amp envelope. And maybe some reverb. Yeah, I think that's going to be good for, for the beginning. Let's uh, record the uh, bass line, like sub bass. For that, I guess you guys need the headphones. So yeah, let's patch output from Basimilus into filter. We need to get the first things done. 
Um, then output from the filter goes into the reverb. I'm going to cancel all the reverb. And uh, yeah, triggs from Steppy. Um, so track A, I'm going to put into malt and then trigger the basimilus. And yeah, that's that's it, I guess. Yeah, and I need to put like the right clock divider. Yeah, I think it's that. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the like super simple bass. simply like this and then record into track 6 yeah That's fine for now. And next thing I'm gonna start uh, basically patching to, to get some uh, bass line on top of the sub bass. And that's where I, I'd like to experiment with lapses and some modulation. So let's, uh, yeah, let's patch uh, Mimetic to modulate pitch. From track one, I'm gonna put into pitch and then triggers coming from Steppy go into X. So I'm gonna utilize only one dimension of Mimetic, these four steps, and I think that's gonna be quite enough for that. And of course, I'm gonna put quite some more tricks here. Yeah, maybe eight steps, and then something like this will, will work. Yeah, and maybe envelope. So I'm gonna use pip slope for that. Again, triggers come from from the steppy. Yeah, it's gonna be quite sharp envelope, and it's gonna modulate the filter. So frequency one, just a little bit, not too much. A bit of reverb. Nice. Now, for example, I'd like to modulate uh, morph a little bit, but not too much, because if you modulate it too much, it's going to go to not that sweet spots, actually. So I'd like to modulate it just slightly. And for that, I'm going to utilize track one from Lapsus and one of the LFOs from Oct. I'm going to take, yeah, maybe not the slowest one, somewhere in the middle, into the attenuation out, uh, input and then from the output I'm gonna put it into morph and then slowly introduce it with the attenuator 
Let's have a listen. Just a little bit. Next, uh, I'd like to start modulating uh, fold a little bit. And uh, yeah, for that, I'm going to utilize Mimetic, actually. So I'm going to grab a output 4 from Mimetic, put it into, into the offset. So basically, um, the not the offset, sorry, attenuation input. And so as much as I introduce this, um, it's going to attenuate less the signal from Mimetic. And then this I can put into the offset of the track 3. So basically, as much I introduce that, as uh, much offset is going to introduce on track 3. And also, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to grab faster LFO from Oct and put it into track yeah, into track three as well. And then I can basically introduce the LFO two, and then I can modulate it more with offset coming from Mimetic. That's that's the idea. And then I'm gonna grab the out and plug it into the fold of Mimetic. And yeah, let's take a listen. So no change, and now I'm going to introduce offset a little bit. And then for example, I can select track 4 on Mimetic and press load shred. It's going to generate different offsets here. Yeah, just a little bit. And then modulate it with the LFO. Yeah, it's quite interesting modulation here. Oh, I forgot distortion. Again, I'm going to utilize one of the slow LFOs from Oct to modulate filter frequency. Again, just a little bit, not too much. And then I'm going to utilize another output from Mimetic, put it into the attenuation, and output is going to modulate the resonance of the filter. Maybe with 
some delight. Yeah, this is pretty much it, how I utilize lapses. And I think these combinations, when you can, you know, like put offset from one of the attenuated uh, outputs from lapses in lapses itself, and then introduce some LFO modulation here, is something really cool about this module. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today lapses, modulation, some techno groove running. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, put a like on it or a dislike. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Consider subscribing to support this channel. And have fun.